This is a sweet dramatic photo that I took in Japan. However, this one that I started out with is definitely not. My name is Phil and I'm a Germany-based photographer and I love creating dramatic photos. And today I'm going to show you how to turn a sort of boring travel photo into a dramatic masterpiece using the Luminar Neo software. But don't worry, the principles apply to any software. So whether you're using Lightroom or Photoshop, you can follow along. Let's do it. So even if you Google dramatic landscape photography or so, you can see one thing clearly. Most of these images have a lot of contrast, properly dark shadows or full blacks and often a specific color tone or color feel to it. That's also true for dramatic portraits. I'll also throw in the words texture and structure, but more to that later. Let's get to work. I'm going to start by cropping the photo because let's face it, it looks like ass. Straightening it up a little bit makes it much better already. Now let's bring down those shadows and bump up those highlights. We really want those dark areas, so let's bring those blacks down until we get some nice contrast here. And a touch of increased whites is all we need to make this photo pop. So far so good, but now we need to draw our viewer into the image. So we're going to add a vignette to the photo, which simply means we're going to darken the outline of our image to draw the viewer in. Most softwares have a slider, so just drag that slider to the left and make the edges nice and dark. If you have an inner light button like I do, use it to brighten up the center of the photo a bit. Or you can use local brightness adjustments in Lightroom or a curve adjustment in Photoshop. Whatever floats your boat. Now, the light part works well that way, but the colors are way off and are really destroying the image right now. This kind of color grading is very important and not just when editing dramatic images. So let's fix that. I'll use an HSL adjustment because I'm able to control the saturation of different colors separately. There's a lot of blue in my photo, but I prefer more red, simply because most elements in my photo are red. So let's bring down those blues and pump up those reds a little bit. And voila, a simple red heavy feel to the image. But wait, we need one more thing to make it really and truly dramatic. Texture and structure. The elements in the photo are still too calm. We need some more chaos. In Lightroom use the clarity slider, but in Luminar Neo it's called structure. Pump that sucker up and create some more variation on the surfaces. Once you're at that point, step away from your laptop. Come back later because you might realize that you can actually go a little bit darker or a little bit brighter at some point or anywhere in the image basically. So should we add drama to our photos? Hell yes we should. Just look at the sweet dramatic photo that we just created. I used the exact same steps in this photo here from Egypt and applied a dark and light contrast, a proper color theme, so to speak, and brought out at least some textures in the foreground as much as this was possible with this photo. Or in this one from Venice, which looked super crap right off the cam, but awesome when made a little more dramatic. I even love the tilt here, works very well. But be careful, creating dramatic images can quickly go overboard and then it rather looks like what happens when a rabbit jumps into the motorway. Interesting comparison. Anyway, let me know in the comments if this was helpful and also if you so desire, smash that like as well as subscribe button, well, to never lose any content and support the channel. As always, stay safe, happy editing and I shall see you next time.